Yeah, we have a, an apprentice master. Um, he he has got a literacy test that he puts the guys through at, at interview. Yeah. So you know, obviously, from our perspective, there's a number of interview criteria they go through, mm-hmm. um, and one of those is the, this literacy test that he puts them through. Yeah. It's uh, literacy and numeracy. Every part of the truck's got a, a um, ECU in it, and it all they all read different sensors, and, it, and this will pick up all the sensors, and it will tell you everything, what's wrong, what's not right. It, so it communicates all the different signals together, mm-hmm. and if that's not right, they'll put up a fault. They're very electrical these trucks, so yeah. you change, go through all your settings, um, to find the right setting for the for the what application. If you just say a sensor's not picking up or a sensor yeah. says it's not working, you can go in there and um, make sure it's getting voltage. Check, yeah. check voltage, it's got resistance in the circuit. So you gotta look at your wiring diagrams and mm-hmm. you gotta sort of follow circuits and see where things aren't working and see if where plugs are and fuses and things like that and just work through it. Back to this. So you got your relays for your headlights, so I don't know your headlights not working, so you check the power supply from yeah. the battery and things like that and you just just shows you where things are. Yeah, and the, all connected yeah to then but you have to find it on the truck yourself. Yeah. This just gives you a basic guide. You have to go either there or on the computer, get your settings, mm-hmm. get the correct settings for it. Things like that. Um, measuring devices are all in the store, in the tool store. But you measure like tiny measurements like mil- tiny mil- millimeters and thou. Things are measured in thou and you've got to um, make sure they're in between specs and things like that. Basically you got this control panel here. This is your main control panel that you'll use to do the whole basic brake test. You control it all by this. Yep. That will really record the results of what it's taking controlling the So this is controlling the pump and um, the way that they're spinning all of that. The computer is just reading all the, capturing all the data and putting it on the screen for you to read. His left tyre will be on the rear roller, so I'll press number two. It will then move on, do I want to do a brake test or slide slip test, all different types of tests that you can do. But we want to do a brake test, so it's key two. Press two again. This is asking you now how many axles there is on the truck, because we can get tri drives, we can get all different types. So it's just asking me how many axles we're going to be doing. So we're doing three on this one, and we'll press enter, enter a dominator reading. So I want to start the test on the side that's braking harder than the side that's not and then you've got an unbalanced load and it can start shaking and all sorts of stuff. So this is showing the time period of there and that's the force and the pressure of the brake stopping on the hydraulic rollers.